is going on, gentlemen? Welcome back to Dark Chronicle again. Me, the Lonesome Rabbit. Now, guys and guys, you join me once again back in Rainbow Butterfly Woods. We're actually on the final level, question mark, we might be. Because I'm actually not 100% sure if we actually do need to go down here at all. Because um, there looks like a bonus area, but at the same time, I do want to explore this before we actually continue on as well. So, uh, what I'll do is I'm going to finish this level. And obviously, if we then kind of finish the dungeon, I will come back and finish them four levels. Um, but yeah, so we won't miss them. We will definitely come back and make sure we finish them too. Okay, so move to Rainbow Falls. Okay, so this could... I mean, if this is not a boss, then I'm going to be... I am a monkey's uncle. But we'll find out. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Uh, oh, my word. That's cool. Oh, that's so cool. That's so that's so simple and so cool. Oh, my God. That's cool. All right. Let me just actually make sure I've actually got like, a good amount of stuff here. Because like, right now is a good time to, uh, to leave if I did need to. But um, just in case I need to heal them at all. Uh, Weapon-wise, I think we're both okay. Even like this, the, the finger jig is okay. Yep, we seem to be all right. Um, can I level up this at all? Nope, can't do that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, all right, awesome, nice. Uh, sweet. Sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, let's actually say what we'll. Ah, we'll still we'll say. Let's, let's switch around to, to Max, but we'll stick to Monica for a bit. Okay, Monica Belushi. Monica Belushi. Uh, ooh, oh, a little fishing pond, eh? Hmm, eh, hey, Jack? Eh? All right, so um, is do we? Do we fish or uh, there's a tiny swamp here, but there's something kind of some kind of mysterious about it. Okay, uh, does that mean I have to use? <laughs> Monica's like, what the fuck do you expect me to do with that? <laughs> All right, um, yeah, I'm 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 gonna say we are definitely missing whatever we do need here because uh, there's nothing here I can see. We oh, actually do we have to? Hmm. Okay, what I'm saying is, I can imagine. So I'm sort of having to ponder here, because I'm sort of trying to think for, like what would actually make sense of what we would actually have to do. Uh, so what I'm gonna say is, probably we have to actually get to the other path that we have to do before, uh, the kind of like the bonus. I was calling bonus area, and the little uh, extra kind of pathway there. We probably have to go through there, get something at the end of there, and then use that to actually revive Jurak. Jurak then gives us something which we then are able to then use to do that final part there, or we get then there's some kind of seat. <gasps> Oh, we must get some kind of... That looks so cool. I'm sorry, but that looks so cool. That just, like, a little bit there. I don't know why it looks just... just I don't know. That looks so badass. But, um... Yeah, what I'm going to say is... What it actually is, we pretty find a seed at the end of this one. We have to plant that seed, then go to Jurak in the future to then do something else. Or we have to find the seed and then plant it in the part which we have the water over there because there's something mysterious about it. I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out, I guess. But anyway. All right. So just, is this place automatically cleared out? It can't be automatically cleared out. Yeah, so I'm guessing we have to do all that stuff again. Um, and it's nighttime straight away as well, so that's actually really kind of handy too. Oh, pardon me. Legendary Killer Snake. Legendary Killer Snake. -er. Okay, uh, I don't know why I spoke Chinese like that, but okay. Legendary Killer Snake. -er. Alright. Um, awesome. Hello, Gearama. Oh, mate. That's, oh my god, holy... Wow, that was really cool. Did you see that? She was like, whoa, 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 whoa. She was like fucking ninja and shit. That was so cool. All right, I am loving this gun and this weapon already. Okay. But yeah, I am, I'm not a huge fan of this weapon back on uh, Femi Jig. Like, it was just, it's not the best to kind of use um, for uh, it back in Dark Cloud 1 because it was just such a pain. You know what I mean? It, it would kind of break all the time. You'd actually get, to, you'd get, actually get thirsty when you're using it as well. So I was like, oh, God damn it. And stuff. So it wasn't really the best and stuff. So yeah. Um. See, now the bad thing against my theory now is the fact that this still says sun, but it's still letting us through, even though it looks like nighttime. I mean, it could arguably be maybe day, because it does have sun coming through the ceiling there, but... I don't really know. Uh... Let's not, we'll give it a try. We're gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give it a try, because we'll see if my, my, my own theory works at first. Then we'll see if, like, I'm completely wrong and have to try something else, but... Alright. And she's so cool! She's like, what the, what the, so badass. I was actually, I was actually a second ago, I was just going to mention, I've been watching a film, uh, well, I watched a film last night called uh, The Raid 2. I don't know if you guys have actually seen The Raid films at all, but if you, if you are the right age, like if you're actually like 18 plus, watch The Raid films. They are absolutely bloody fantastic. They are just easily one of the best horror, like, but one of the best horrors, one of the best action films of our generation, generally. Like, I'd probably say one of the best in the next, like, past 20 years. They're just fucking just fantastic films they're just oh they're just so good like every moment it's the one of the few films i've ever watched which actually has me like sitting there like like slightly moving my body because i'm like oh my god i need to get into this fight and stuff and just it just transfixes you the story's really fucking good like it's actually all decent stuff it's just 
amazingly choreographed and stuff as Vietnamese, and it makes it even cooler, I guess, kind of, but it's just so, it's just so badass. I mean, I, I cannot, cannot absolutely sh uh, shout about the game more. It, the, sorry, shout about that, that film more. It's just an incredible film. All right. It's just like, from a distance, like, you will die! All right. Uh, he's like, I will get you! Okay, can I, can I, I don't, I don't want to lock onto you anymore. There we go. All right. Can I open the chest, please? Excuse me, can I, can I open this chest? Oh, do I? Okay, apparently I'm not allowed to do that in combat. Okay. Hello, fire elements. Time to die. Fucking, she is so badass now. Oh my god. Uh, her weapon's a touch weaker. I have to admit, I'm noticing a little bit. It's just like a touch, like, uh, he's just kind of like, um, sorry, it's a touch lower, like, damage she's doing, but, well, maybe not apparently she's done 58 there, so that seems to be all good, but, I don't know, it seemed a little bit low on the fire elements, but I'm not too sure. Okay. Let us go grab this chest. It's the chest, Jack. The chest, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> That's my terrible Barbosa impression. All right. Uh, do, do, do. So, okay. Uh, let's. Oh, 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 okay. Maximilian, Pegasus, and Ride Pod. Right. I, I don't. I don't trust these guys so far. The killer snakes. I don't like them. I. I, I don't know. I think they're too. A bit too tough for me at the moment. So I'm, I'm kind of like kind of avoiding trying to face them as much as I can. Okay. Hello, Firelands, my old friends. I've come to talk with you again. Running over your corpse with my tracks. Cause I'm a fucking badass. Hey, Black Paint. Oh, yes. Give you a new uh, paint job, uh, Steve. Come on. All right. Goodbye, Snakey. Come on. Pick up that XP. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you, I'm, not, I'm, I'm okay. Tell you what, I'm gonna challenge you guys in this one. Every time I say a reference, I always tell you guys what it is. Now that reference just then, I made. Uh, oh, good boy, good boy. Ha 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 ha. Now that is one of the worst references I can ever make. It's so vague, so small, and so absolutely. Uh, I'll be amazed if anyone knows what's from because it's, it's just like a, such a, a weird thing to kind of reference as such. Because oh, I just, oh, that was really bad. I, mean, I actually pulled my PS2 then. I was like, oh god. Um, but um. Yeah, no, I, I, that's such a small reference. Any of you guys know what that is? Let me know. I'm, I'm gonna be amazed if any of you guys are to get that. But as again, as I said, I'm really intrigued if any of you guys do actually get that at all. So let me know. Anyway, I will continue on. I'll try not to reveal it anymore. You know. Ooh. Okay. This is this kind of thing I really adore though. Like, say for example, if I one day I was just like, you know, I I, I somehow got to like maybe like, I don't know, 200,000 subscribers or something like that, which I know a man can dream. But um, like, imagine if I actually got to that point, like one day, um, someone's looking back at my older videos and like, they see this and they're like, they're, they're the one person finally after maybe like four years of having this channel, where they're like, I understand that reference, and they say blah 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 blah, and that'd be, that'd be just like the kind of stuff which I would just love to happen. I mean, even if, even if I didn't have like 200,000 subscribers, even if I had like maybe like 2,000, and like, um, it was just simply as I said, like again, like. Four years in the future, and like someone randomly commented that. That'd be amazing to like seeing that. It'd be so cool, but I don't know. All right. Come on, Maxi boy. We're gonna go beat some more fire elements up. Oh dear. All right. Sweet. But yeah, so I mean, as I said before, guys and gals, I really hope you guys enjoy this game. I, I, I'm really enjoying playing this game. It's really absolutely amazing, but um, it's it's felt quite long, like at the moment. Like, I mean, I know I haven't been playing. I, well, I guess. I, I'm gonna say how it's felt quite long. It's felt like a long time I've been playing this game for because I've been playing it quite on and off. I haven't been playing like as much as I really should be and stuff like that. And I mean, as much as, as it kind of is my fault, at the same time it's kind of not because I've been so busy and stuff like that. I've had so, so much other plans alongside of it and stuff. So, like, oh, but yeah, I mean, I've been trying my best. I really do love playing this game. Uh, I just worry that like, I always worry that like series go on for too long and you guys find, like lose interest and stuff. But you know what I mean? I don't know. It's not. It's YouTube to be fair. You just can't expect that kind of stuff. So it's okay. All right. Goodbye, Boulder. All right. Na, 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 na. There's a boulder inside of me. There's a boulder inside. I said, so the other path is up there, so. Hmm. Okay. So I'm, I'm kind of curious if I should kind of go back that way or something like that, but I'm not sure. But we'll take out these guys first, see what we can do. Alright. I'm curious what makes you so curious. Uh, oh, oh! I'll use a bloody key! Uh, oh, yeah, guys, you do have one, nice. <laughs> I can't, these, these things I cannot be asked to uh, guess the trap with. Ah, now Bone Rapier, that could actually be the weapon I'm accidentally building for, um, Monica at the moment, because there is, it does seem to be, like, kind of a exorcism, lightning, flame, kind of screams Bone Rapier, but I don't think this is going to be that much tougher than, uh, what she has at the moment. Um, yeah, look, that's, that's, like, nothing, like, look at that, that's, that's, I know it's weaker, but, then, like, power-wise, that's so much better, I mean, the only thing it already benefits from is having a max, like, a mass amount of chill for some reason, but, um, yeah, so we'll keep the bone in, uh, the bone rapier for now because we'll just get rid of it later on. Alright. Mr. Ice Elements. Huh! 
Fuck. <laughs> I missed you. Oh. Ah! There we are. Fucking the, the Oh god! Okay! Run! Ah! Okay, there we are. Alright. Right pods. Take him out. Wait, that, that Sonic Boom actually took a fair amount of shots. I did kudos to him. Alright. Uh, there we are. Hello, Ice Elements. Shoot her down, boys. <laughs> Fucking hell. It's it's this thing just demolishes absolutely anything. It's amazing to me. Alright, let's uh, switch back to Maximilian. Good old Maximilian Pegasus. I do find it funny that Max and Monica both run quicker than the good old uh, Steve does on his like little tracks. It's pretty cool, but pretty funny at the same time. Okay. And we'll be going around the corner when I come. That sounded kind of fucked up the way I said that. I like I like pause and come. I was like, come. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna shout up now, that's really weird. Alright, anyway, um, hello, Mr. Guillermo. Guillermo del Toro. Guillermo del Toro. Hey, a little Pokemon reference for you boys and girls. Alright. For you boys and girls. Specifically, boys and girls. In that order, in, in that order as well. Okay. Alright. That takes care of you guys. Whoop whoop. There we go. Okay, thanks for, uh, once again, it always seems to tell me, it's like, you know what, you know what, Jordan, I know you haven't really learned in this game just yet, so you know what, the exits are the yellow points. I know you played the sequel, I know you played the first one, sorry, but this one is totally different, so we're going to teach you that the yellow points mean the exits, instead of the yellow points mean the exits in the first one. Dun dun dun! Uh, I, I don't know why it keeps telling me that, I'm, I'm hoping that after we finish this one, because I guess this is the first proper dungeon we've had? I mean, the first one was kind of like... Arguably a tutorial dungeon in a sense like the entire thing is quite short. There wasn't really too much to it It's very much just like boo 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 and it's really done, but So why can't I go through here yet? Huh Um so, you know, I mean, the way I view that now is that it must be it must be night time to kind of go through But I don't know if the class is night time now because it's not it's kind of like raining-ish, but it's not really raining that much, so... Uh, looks like you're going any further yet, yeah, so I, I can't use anything to get through. Uh... Huh. I have no idea. Uh... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm admiring that little... What's that, what's that over there? It's like a little sign or something like that over there. Hang on, hang on, what is... What is that? What is that? I was, a, I was a fucking boulder. I was, I was like, it looked really intriguing for a second. I was like, what is that? Um, so, I mean, it looks nighttime, but I can imagine if we now go back outside, it's probably not going to be nice. It's probably like, going to be daytime, just rainy. So, I kind of want to wait, but I... Uh, we won't. We'll go back. We'll go back to the main station. Just because then we might be able to actually... Actually, uh, is it worth... Oh, oh, ah, 582. Oh, it's not nighttime yet. Ew. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right, I will wait. I will uh, chat to you guys for a bit while we're actually waiting there. Cause I, I can. That must be night time. So I mean, because it's it's, it's five forty the moment, the so so it would be kind of still daytime ish. So I'm gonna say it's gonna be night time. That's gonna be all my bet. I put money on that. I will put money on that. Oh dear, it's a uh, two to one odds. I don't know. All right. Um, Sweet. So, um, yes, yeah, so I tried to have the guys, uh, well, you guys and gals, much can tell you a little bit of story as well. Um, recently, the Oscars went past, and I don't know if any of you guys caught up with it at all, but Leo finally won his Oscar. Woo! Great, um, good, he's got a good old chap, and he finally has got the one he deserves. I mean, in, in all fairness, uh, although The Revenant was a fantastic film, I don't think The Revenant was really his best kind of like um, performance. I'd say. I mean, he's done a lot better in other films. I'd say like that he's deserved Oscars much better for. Like, um, I watched The Aviator recently. He's fucking f phenomenal on that. I, I was amazed he didn't win that because he just. He was just fantastic. I was like, wow. But, um, I mean, then again, he was nominated for Wolf of Wall Street. He was nominated for, uh, eating, what's eating Guilford Grape and stuff like that. But, I mean, there's other nominations he's like, other performances and stuff he's given, which he wasn't even nominated for, which he still deserved him so much more than he did for this one one. But, um, yeah, I mean, he, he deserved the nomination. Uh, he, sorry, he definitely deserved the nomination. He definitely deserved the win, because, I mean, everyone else in the, in the kind of category wasn't like half as good as him, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I mean, he, he's, he's deserved it so much more in the past than he has this time. But, you know. But, um, yeah, so oddly enough, guys and guys, I actually, put a lot, I actually put some money on the Oscars and stuff like that, and I just got a fair amount of return. I was like, babushki. I put about £40 down altogether, and I got about £45 in return for the Oscars. I was like, yes, £5 investment. I was like, yes. It, to be fair, it wasn't too bad. I mean, I was, I was expecting a little bit less, to be fair, because it, it went a little bit kind of, um... Still not my time, really? Anyway, um, 
But uh, yeah, no, it, it went. It, it, I was expecting a little bit like kind of like lesser search to be fair, because I um, some of the odds I sort of like went for were kind of a little bit boisterous stuff. But um, yeah, so it all came out pretty damn well in the end. So I, I, was, I was like, oh yes, but. Um, yeah, so it was pretty cool. Uh, apart from that, actually, I did another little interesting bet alongside of the Oscars, is I actually put money on the Razzies. Now, I don't know if any of you guys actually know what the Razzies are. Basically, the Razzies are kind of like the um, the worst film nominations, the worst film, like, worst acting nominations, worst actress nominations for that. And uh, I actually went hard on, on actually betting a fair amount of money on that. And uh, the main one I went and bet on was the... Uh, it was uh, Fantastic Four to win um, the worst picture. I was 100% sure this was going to happen. I was like, I know for a fact this is going to happen. Fantastic Four is going to lose. I know it will. So I was like, I was just so certain it would. But, uh, okay, come on, 9 o'clock. That's the standard video game nighttime time. Like, Fallout does that. Oblivion does that. Anyway, I'll finish my story while it's kind of doing this. But, um, yeah, so I mean, I'll, in the end, actually, Fantastic Four did actually manage to win uh, the, best pi uh, the worst pictures. 10 o'clock, maybe? <laughs> Come on! I, it's it gotta be night time, right? Ah, fuck. I'll, I'll, I'll finish my story, but, um... Yeah, Fantastic Four 1 actually did winning uh, the worst picture, but actually tied with, um... Uh, Fifty Shades Grey, which is a bloody pain in the ass, because basically the amount of money I put on there, um, if uh, Fantastic Four won by itself, I would have won £160, but because it tied, I actually won half that, and I only won 80 I was like, fuck! So, yeah, so I mean, all together, like, £125 from the, the whole, like, nomination period and stuff so uh yeah it was pretty cool i actually really enjoyed just, like that the kind of betting side of stuff because i mean i, I I'm, I'm not really much of a gambler as such i recently went to uh, a casino for the first time actually myself that makes sense i went for my dad's wedding one time but that wasn't like kind of um on my own terms i kind of just went there because um my dad was going there but seriously it's not night time <sighs> is it like do i is it character do i have to switch to monica maybe Hmm. All right, that's cool with me. I am entirely okay with that. We'll just, we'll just text this, okay? Well, no, I'm, I'm going to leave it till midnight. I'm going to leave it till midnight, because you never know, it might count nighttime with stars out being midnight. So, I don't want to now come off it and be like, you know, I read it up. It's like, oh, you have to wait there until midnight, and then it turns, and then it opens a door. So, I, I will generally wait until then. But, um, yes, yeah, so it was a nice little kind of situation, as I said. Like, I mean, I don't really bet that much, that often, to be fair. I, as I said, I went to a casino once recently. Um... For the first time by myself. Oh, not <laughs> not by myself. Fortunately, I'm not that lonely. But I went with a friend of mine and uh, went to a place called Great Yarmouth and went uh, in the casino edge just down there. And um, yeah, I played a bit of blackjack. I was terrible at it. I lost about hundred pounds, but it wasn't too bad. But then I ended up then I ended up back for the Oscars. I was like, yay! Um, but yes, yeah, so, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. It wasn't awful. But you know, um, all right, come on, come on, come and hit me, hit me. You know you want to hit me. Come on, hit me. Ah. Uh, come on! Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping this is it, because it wouldn't kind of make sense to be midnight, but... 9 o'clock is like the standard nighttime time for video games. I don't know why it is, but every single game that has that kind of has that, their nighttime schedule. Ooh, 18 more seconds. 14 more seconds. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm stood here staring at a bloody spinning star, hoping it would just let me go through this area. Two more seconds, and nothing. Okay, that's yeah. That's not gonna. That's not gonna. That's not gonna let us through them. All right, that's fine. Uh, let's move. We will. Uh, we will skedaddle. What's the pain? Um, kind of annoying. I'm trying to think what we should do. So. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what we should do then. So we'll, we'll, we'll go to, um, quickly we'll move we'll back on into, uh, Sindain. Sindan. Sindain. I apologize if you hear any background noise, by the way. There's some uh, children screaming downstairs. Not mine, obviously. You know, I'm just like, I've got them tied up down there, like, scream for me, children. <laughs> that's really weird. Oh, God, that was weird. Um, no, I mean, my mum child mine, so that's the reason they're downstairs. Um, awesome. So, um, I guess what we could do is we could aim to fi finish what we kind of started to do last time, maybe? Oh, oh, downloading the Geostone, I see. I don't actually think that's that bad. I'm trying to do an impression of Joker just then by my gun. Um, you can now make pot torch. You can now make pot. You can now make wooden gates. You can now make fruit tree. You can now make carts. Yes. Oh, carts, yes. Water wheel. You can now make the pot wooden bridge. 
Can I make the part hill? Uh, the conditions, uh, the condition 15 rivers place part, uh, has been cleared. Um, <gasps> oh! Oh, what? I, have I placed 10 trees? Sure, I don't mind. The condition, uh, no tree between the eyes of the trees has been made clear. Uh, nose and eyes. Oh, oh, been made clear. I see, child, I see. Uh, okay, okay, so it's literally saying, hey, all this stuff is, I was, I was like, have I really done all this stuff? Like, really? Okay. Okay, sweet. So we've now been given exactly exactly what we need to do. So, um, so nose nine near the river. Okay, so we need to sort of move these guys. So if we, how do we actually move stuff? I've completely forgotten how to actually move things around. Um, I guess we, we can literally remove it and then pop pop, pop back down. But hey, we'll do that. That's fine. All right. Uh, to, to, what's that on? If I if I go back down, do. <laughs> What? According to the Geostone you brought back this time, if we want to bring back Jiro back, uh, we need to get some. We need to get someone who knows about trees to immigrate to Sendane. Get someone to immigrate? That, that was a, what the fuck kind of impression with Max was that? I was like, get someone to immigrate? I don't know. Anyway, that's right. There's lots of uh, people living in Palm Brinks, right? We've got to get so uh, get got, got to get those people to immigrate uh, out of the uh, world. That way, the future will develop. Hmm. I see. And so what we need right now is someone who knows about trees, huh? Max, do you know anyone like that? Hmm, <clears throat> someone who knows about trees. <gasps> oh, I've got it, Gordon! Sure, Gordon. Gordon? Yeah, he's our gardener, he's an expert on trees, he'd be perfect. I bet he's, I bet he's in our yard right now, <laughs> tending to... <laughs> he, oh, he lives in that fucking field, if he ever leaves, you will die! <laughs> I bet he's in our yard right now, tending to the flowers or something. Um, really, that's great, let's go! Okay, go back to Palm Brinks and look for a Gordon the Gardener. He should be in Max's yard. Okay, that is actually a really good kind of a helpful thing actually told, told us to do. So, um, what we'll do first though is, there we are. All right, so, because I know for a fact I'll probably forget about this as soon as I do. So, uh, place, uh, so this needs to be near the river. So, if we do it like kind of here, uh, so kind of put it as near to the river as we can. One there. Uh, oh, actually, undo that. Can I? Face it like there. That looks kind of face on. Yeah, sure, one hop. Okay, uh, put it down. There we are. Put the tree down, boy. All right. Uh, do do do. I can't really tell where the front of the nose is. Uh, that looks like the front, I guess. Uh, do do do. I like how trees have noses. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's just shuffle that across as far as we can. There we are. Round two. Uh, up the. I keep pressing circle automatically to go back. It's just, it's just, just a, ah, uh, it's a normal, it's a naturalistic thing to actually do all the time. All right. When you played way too many video games, just naturally press like all the buttons you think are gonna work. All right. So, all right. So that's there. So does that, did that, did that do it? Hey, it did. Okay. Uh, Elder Jurek revived. Ten trees placed. Okay. So we need ten trees. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's quite cool. Huh, oh, that's pretty cool. So yeah, so I mean, literally the um, glowing mushrooms are stored. Okay, so oh, so this is all stuff that affects us now, which will then be back in the future. I like that. Okay, so if we now, if we actually play, mm, do we want to place that though? Um, do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? I'm trying to think. I actually do want to uh, like uh, do the trees just yet. So uh, number one, I don't think I actually will be able to because I've actually got enough stuff to make uh, a bunch of trees, but. Think as well. I don't really know if I really want to waste the stuff on it too. Ooh, I'm just like missing out on the right amount of stuff there. Okay, that's cool. All right. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, I mean, we might as well go back to Sindane and go see. There's been a change in the future. Should we go see it? Yeah, let's go see it. Why not? Let's go. Let's go have a gander. Let's go have a gander. So I wonder, I wonder how we convince Gordon to come join us. It's like Gordon, I owe your soul. Come with me. He's like, yes, Master Maximilian. <laughs> it's his father's that are like, Max, be kind to be kind to poor old Gordon. Max like, shut up, Dad! <laughs> oh dear. Alright. Okay, so what's changed here? <gasps> oh, the tree! It's back! If this isn't tree and then I am I am a monkey's uncle. Alright, so what should we what are you saying? You know, lately I've been feeling kinda lonely. It feels like something big's missing, you know? Anyway, well <laughs> uh Eh, well uh He's kind of, you know, like, trying to climb his nostril. Would that make you feel more at home? 
Can I get his nostril? Oh, I was hoping I'd get his nostril then. <laughs> like, yo, <laughs> what you saying? <laughs> he like sneezes me out. All right, anyway, uh, sweet. So let's, damn. Can't move in the future. Cannot move in the future. Apparently, when you move in the future, when you're in the future times, you're not allowed to change house. Strange law they laid down. Okay. Just gotta go back in time. Okay, sweet. <laughs> I'm way too excited. Uh, actually, tell you what, guys and guys, I'm actually going to end this episode here before we go and see Gordon and make it a cliffhanger. Like, oh, what's going to happen with Gordon? Is he going to be okay? Like, secretly, this entire game is actually about Gordon. That's one thing you guys and guys don't know about is uh, actually, you know, everyone thinks Man and Monica, Max, the important characters. Gordon's actually the big hero. Lo and behold, it's like, it's like, you know, C Commissioner Gordon and Batman or whatever it is. But anyway, guys and guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been absolutely amazing playing this game for you guys. That's better. If you guys and guys check out more content, there's links in the description below. Have a good gander. There's more stuff there to keep you guys more entertained. Once again, I'm the last one I've Once again, you guys are beautiful. That's better. C'est la vie. Hasta vista. And goodbye. Watch out.